Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kaiser Redux, in which I'm your host, Mr. Eurasia Lover, and right now we're playing and doing and focusing on the Enlightenment. Our nation building shall be based on the Enlightenment from the above. The Eurasianist party has stated that the process of Enlightenment will include liquidation of illiteracy, high educational standards, and propaganda of Eurasianist ideology. And I followed up with respect to classic Eurasianism. The very idea of Eurasianism, developed by Tubetskoy, is the only possible one in modern reality. We should not lean towards any other ideology. Oh, and there goes Hungary. Goodbye, Hungary. Goodbye. Oh, and we have people there too. So we've got quite a few comments to go through. So I asked you guys yesterday whether we should do the reinstitute the Zemstva or we should do a bureaucratic overhaul. And overall, I'll, at the time of this recording, there is a whole crap ton of support more for the Zemstas, which is one we're going to be doing uh, pretty much next, probably. The Zemstvo, Zemstvo, I don't speak Russian, sorry, is a form of local governance and representation first introduced by Alexander II in 1864. It strongly weights favor to aristocrats, but it still assures, uh, assures his representation of the lower classes. It will, without a doubt, assure stability in our torn nation, as we, of course, are trying to go down mobile warfare. Ah, <sighs> mobile warfare. And returning to the Obukov T-26 very soon. Very, very soon, actually. Ah, we love the tanks here, don't we? Hmm. Six percent stability. Not bad, but Latvian arms, yo. While they seek to uh, build their own armaments industry, Latvia lacks sufficient arms for the time being. As such, they have requested several thousand small arms as an assistance. Um, sure. Why not? We'll be nice for now. Maybe not in the future, but at least for now, we shall agree to their needs. Hello, what are you What are you all doing? Why are you out of there? Oh, a proposal from Latvia. They put forth an interesting proposal. Seeking investment from nearby governments and their deepening of economic interdependency. Ooh. The Latvians have drafted a plan for the creation of a jointly owned industrial holdings company. No thank you. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So, a couple comments as well. Oh, or I even asked you guys yesterday as well, whether we should push for the monarchy, or we should say, nah, bros, not today, no monarchy here. But, overall, they're, like, the earlier option, like, with the Zemstha, or Zemstho, versus bureaucratic overall, with a the monarchy, there's a ton of support currently for the monarchy, so, a lot of you guys must watch Alex the Rambler, because... We're giving it that good old Rambler try, so you and me and uh, Monarchy Central, here we go. Which one is Monarchy again? Uh, Monarchy. The Chkaizda. Chkaizda. Konstantin Chkaizda. Ah, oh, yes. Goodbye, Central Authority. Chkaizda, yes. Reform the Senate. So, we'll, eventually, we'll get there eventually, so. Uh, left-leaning. Oh, we can go left-leaning. Yesterday we said we could go right-leaning, initiate social reforms. We can go a little bit more left-leaning. Memories of the Russian Revolution is now over, but that's all right. We start going to the people, huh? Oh, and this one, what does this do? Is this every day, or...? Okay, they've been increased by a random little amount. Okay, and uh, Dominicans and Haitians are killing each other. What else is new? But, you know, I want to focus a little bit more on this first, because we could get a funding frenzy, as well as eventually getting another research slot. So, by offering more economic support and tax reduction to the Zemstho, a Zemstho, we can make sure they start finding local projects like never before. Moreover, it will strengthen the connections between the people of Russia and these new established state authorities. And who doesn't love these state authorities? Alright, so, who can we send volunteers to? But happy 1938, everybody. Actually, we can send guys to America. So, we are the lovely Eurasianists led by the authoritarian Democrats. Uh, American Union is probably the way we're probably going to go. No, maybe not. Oh, hold on. The car would be a lot of fun. New political machines. Um, we kind of like Robert Taft. Staunch constitutionalist. But if I want to send tanks, can I send them to Huey Long? They're also authoritarian Democrats. I guess authoritarian Democrats don't really like authoritarian Democrats. Go figure. Um, there you go. Send all three tank divisions. Uh, this should be okay-ish. A little bit. Uh, there you are. Makhrav. Yes. Yes, yeah, yay. Let's get some army XP. We can only, oh my gosh, only send 26 planes. All right, whatever. Uh, where are our boys? Aviation boys. Uh, that's all right with us. Peace conference is over. Oh, there goes Illyria. They're doing all sorts of funky stuff. Oh, we also sent volunteers to Bulgaria. I forgot about that too. Oh yeah, and these guys too. We got a lot of guys all over the place, man. I'm not going to lie. Deploying. 
Yeah, they're almost deployed. There you go. Nice job, guys. Head on over here and do the best you possibly can as we have a funny, uh, small little funding frenzy. Promote monarchism. A little more right-leaning, huh? Oh, look at this one. Consolidate Orthodox Church. Go relatively right-leaning as well. Um, yeah, we'll just do that one. Thank you. Exert more efforts in eradicating illiteracy. Uh, we shall exert more efforts in improving literacy at the cost of f minus 50% political power game and slightly more literacy change. Oh, oh, what is this? The Great Eurasius Enlightenment. True ideocracy. Okay. It is a complex and necessary thing that we need to complete in order to decrease integration time and average compliance to integrate. Interesting. Idiot idiocracy rate depends on assimilation of native minorities. Total idiocy rate. Idiocy. Idioc idiocracy rate. Oh, I say this all wrong all the time. Acceptance of Eurasian's ideology. More effort. Daily literacy change. Extra more efforts in assimilation. Extra more efforts in improving it. Um, the cost is a lot of stability. Wow. Um, let's do that one. It was a crap ton of PP, but whatever. Oh, and our guys are re re wow. We are really trying to crush them all, click, aren't we? Ooh, fighting over rivers is a bad idea, guys. But you look like you can do it anyway. So how's oh, oh, oh insulating whatever. We're just here to get army XP. Wow, look at these numbers. They're just going. Oh, I'll go Slovenia. Yeah, they're going a whole bunch over there. Oh, Louisiana. Look, Louisiana. I'm not gonna be your tour guy because it's gonna be really hot and swampy down here, and I don't want to live down here ever again. Just saying, it's too hot for me. Sad guy. Anything here? No. Okay, disappointing. Whatever. Bulgaria? Bo 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 Bulgaria. After that, we'll probably immediately do local development, more political power, better consumer goods, you know the good stuff. The large blood of state apparatus of the past has often been a hindrance to local development as directives slowly trickle down through an inefficient command of chain. The best way to tackle this is to delegate more responsibilities to local structures of government led by the regional landowners. After all, who knows better how to improve local affairs than the people that own the land? Oh, that is not ideal right here, is it not? Oh, of course not. Definitely not ideal. Oh, those poor horses. But now, those poor Russian boys. Or men. Hmm. Oh, good job, guys. Just as what you wanted. Oh, we're running out of fuel, too. Oh, god dang it. Ah, what else is new? Just don't get encircled and die. That's my only wish. And in Mongolia, we are horsing around. <laughs> jokes! It's all jokes. All that's life... All life is is just one giant joke, is it not? Hmm. Oh, a tag team. I like the tag team. It's like it's kind of like wrestling or something like that. All right, happy thirty-eight. Like I said before, and then we'll get some more research speed after this. Increase authority. Authority of the Senate will be decreased. Fifty-one and a half versus thirty-eight. It's not bad. From the Senate. Yes. We'll keep doing the ones that increase this stuff here too. Uh, assimilation rate of assimilation of native minorities is not enough. Twenty-three point six four. Total rate sixteen. It's slowly going up. My goodness. Hey, maybe we can't win here. Maybe I was a lie. Funny frenzy. Local development. Ooh, national banks. Yeah, we'll probably do all this stuff first before we keep moving on to that other stuff. But the Zemvo research initiatives, economics, and businesses need to be kept competitive in order to grow and expand. We should not invest not only in these actual businesses, but also the theories behind them. With sufficient science funding, it should benefit not only the local companies, but Russia as a whole. Nice. And can we get more research speed? Yes, 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 we can. Since we're here anyways, tank divisions, you are... The more I look at my tank divisions, the more disappointed I become. All right then. Go with three, lower it by two. Should be good enough for now. Um, go with four, five, and then L six O. Oh, well, I guess we couldn't get to it. God dang it, that sucks. Oh well. Keep getting that RMXP and do not get encircled for the love of God. Do not get encircled. Oh, my sweet Jesus. Do not get encircled. Did you guys get defeated here? What happened? Oh, they had a peace deal. Yep, boys, coming back home. Why not? 
Oh, we can invest in these local areas. Oh, there's them, though, our rural self-government institutions created after the Emancipation Reform of 61, 1861, that should be. Given powers to levy their own taxation, uses taxation to fund education, hospitals, and maintain roads, among many other uses. Right now, the Zemstho system is linked, limited by the fact that it is funded only from local taxes, and thus cannot commit to any significant projects. If we want to improve the effect of Zemstho on our country, we should import, support them by directing funds. Offer economic support to the Zemstho's in the region, potentially beneficial with potentially beneficial effects. Healthcare? Let's do the new... Let's do the eastern ones. I'll do the eastern ones first. Don't care. Don't care. We don't need to do that yet. Propaganda can wait. Um, yeah, not bad overall. Ah, the Haitians are gone. What a good world now. It's like an Omani war. Can't say I really care about Oman. Then again, I think most people probably say that too. Just saying, man. Nothing personal. Just not feeling Omanis? Yeah. I don't like to feel my men? Hmm. Anyways, I'll get to that one next and that one. We're probably going to just do all these just because they're really, really, really quite good to do for us, so. Um, you know, we're in declare war. Oh, there we go. Hey, welcome home, boys. Welcome home. You did the best you could. No fault of yours. Would it be wrong of me to send boys to this group? Probably, but well, that's okay. We like it when it's wrong sometimes. Don't question me. Oh, Transylvania exists too. Look at that. Huh. 27 guys, huh? Plus one. Oh, did they peace out already? Huh. Oh, good job, guys. Good job. Thanks. Well, they're definitely struggling. I'll say that for sure. But... That's give us some XP, hopefully. Oh, he's learning slightly. He's a learner. He's not a good learner, but he, he he's learning. Um, got quite a few bit of naval stuff here, so get some radar though. I think we'd benefit from that. Can they still pierce us? For the love of God, yes, they can. God dang it. Of course, we don't even have air superiority, so that doesn't help us out. Yeah, just hold. There you go. Not bad. After this one... Ooh, nice. War reparations. Oh, yes, plus point three more political power. With Russia's economy once again looking strong, there's no doubt that our neighbors will look at us with envy hunger. We must make no mistake. A civilian economy is in time of war would end the rising star in a matter of months. More research speed, more factory output. That would be so good. Hello. We're here for a good time, not a long time. Kornila, Boris... Eh, he might win, maybe. We'll see. It's all about getting that army XP. We use more fuel. You know it's bad when we say that Russia needs to get a little bit more fuel. But then again, we don't have Azerbaijan, so... Deutsche Middle Africa. Suck, suck. Alright, not bad. Anywhere else we can do anything here, maybe? No? Yes? Oh, gotta love the infantry. Alright, what else can we do here? Integrate. Oh, yes. Yeah, so it's gonna take some time. That's fine with us. Uh, promote monarchism? Yes. There, 44. Which is good, 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 good. Ideologically centrist is moderate. For now. Improved heavy. Oh. Ooh, sonar's not bad. Level 2 is so much better. Some sort of secondary battery. I mean, it, this could be usable for now. I don't definitely don't want to keep stuff like this. Minesweepers, I don't care. Do anti-sub stuff. I'm more interested in that thing. Not a bad ship. Not a great ship, but not a bad ship. Yeah, it's kind of weird. There you go, all the way to 15. Look at that. Valkyrie, goodbye. You guys, like I said about the other stuff, it, it's okay. It's not great. Better engines are nice, though. Battleship armor, too. 
Um, aircraft facilities are fine. Uh, get some secondary batteries. Get some more anti-air. Are these the only heavies we... Oh, yeah, it is. That kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. That kind of sucks. Then again, we're Russia. I'm not really concerned about the ar the Navy. I'm more concerned about the Army than the Navy, so... And there you go. Head on into Navy Cam. Thank you very much. So now, we need to do this. Yay! Make it easy on us. Are we still winning or losing here? Oh, we lost. Huh. Well, we're here for, you know, just kind of hanging out. American Volunteers? You should be able to win there. You really should be able to win there. And they are, which is good. Nice, but still. Should be able to win there too, but we'll see. Just slightly more fuel, because we're going to need it on the front, so. Nice. Slightly more Florida. I do want to attack up here as well, but that river is not very good to attack, so. Now we're getting some more fuel back. Awesome. Yeah, we're not really making very much here, are we? Uh, military expenditures? Huh. Yeah, I want to increase everyone's support, so. Educational programs. Going to the people. 47 ain't too bad. Alright, and we gotta wait for this one, too. 49.91. Oh, industry stuff. Yeah, that'd be good as well. And we're integrating the other group as two, so. Yeah, the plus point three is going to be super important. We only get like point nine six every day anyway, so oh, there goes those guys. Very nice. A sixth research slot is not enough. Never enough. I'll grab that too, because you can. Cool. National investment banks. Get even more political power. A national investment bank will be will safeguard not only the resources invested by Zenthvo, but it also will offer more beneficial loans to local projects. The banks will help us control many transactions of our Zemstva and the local businessmen. If you want about this, please go ahead. As well as the mad ravings of a starving artist, nothing more. Nice. Industrialized nation? What is this? New schools open? Thanks to the well-placed investments in blank. The state has seen a remarkable uptick in schools built and teachers being trained. The rapid improvements being made to the education system has led to marked improvement in the quality of life for locals. Another success for the Zenstvo is another success for the government as well. Excellent. 50. Wow, that's a lot. 50. 50. That's, a, that's quite a bit. 50. Wow. Could build some civvies. Could get some more education here, too. Uh, we're going to wait for party unity. No, we don't believe in party unity. 41 and a half. As ideologically centrist, but now we are almost pulling ahead yet. Trubetsko is doing quite well himself. Uh, let's invest in one of these. CV, 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 CV. Ufa. Let's do Ufa. National investment banks, yeah. Quite bueno to do that one right there. Hmm. What else can we do? Even more extraction? Might as well. Extract, 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 extract. When and done. Japan announces their ambitions. Well, that's a little worrisome, not gonna lie. I'd love to attack here, but do we have the resources for it? We need way more light tanks, though. Holy smokes. Slightly less rubber. Uh, what are these infantry divisions like? I don't remember. Uh, they're okay. They're not great. A Neo Slavic Revival. Ah, oh, that's something we like to see here. Support going to do enough for... Oh, we definitely do not. Oh, boy. Support already instead, maybe? Eh, definitely not. With the Russian situation slowly stabilizing, some politicians, philosophers, and scholars are attempting to revive the 19th century concept of Panslavism, a vision of a united Slavic federation centered around Russia. These ideas are gaining quick support among the conservative military officers, including Anton Denikin and Peter Rangel. An interesting concept, indeed. We want to promote monarchism next, too, as well. But, you know what? More efforts in assimilating them, yeah. More acceptance rate. Direction of investment. As we help expand the Zenstha institutions, new investments and opportunities have opened up. Now we must decide where and where, how and where to direct our investments in order to maximize their impact. Local research. Research and development facilities in our regions. This can us new blueprints or improve research capabilities for industrial development of the region. New factories, infrastructure, resources, or even synthetic refineries. Focus on bureaucratic matters. The social environment of our people. Stability or support of political power. Oh, that one. If they're attacking, we might be able to help out and win there too. So, 
Austria, how are you doing? Ah, this is what we like to see. Yes, defend Trieste. Wow, those poor horses. For the love of God, those poor, poor horses. They even fight. They're not even fighting. Okay. Oh, maybe it's this battle they were fighting. Yeah, that's fine. Just keep hanging on, boys and girls. You're doing a great, a great job. Uruguay wins the World Cup. Good job, Uruguay. Uruguay, your dude. Uh, here. Synthetic oil experiments. I'll probably do some fuel refining. Oh, oh, the guy needs one too. Oh, huh. nice. Horsey boys, huh? Eh, they're okay. They're not really that great at all. Cool. And all right, National Investment Bank. I'd love to launch industrialization, but obviously we're not on the uh, six-year plan, so. That concludes this part, that part of the focus street. Resource proposition will be bad, not too bad. I like to do this stuff as well. We can't do this stuff, which kind of sucks, but eh, it's alright. But then we'll do respect classic Eurasianism. A new social class. Cool. More monarchism, please. Oh, more industry would be very good as well. Oh, we can integrate these people too. Oh, yes. Because we did get this area down here last time, so. And overall, it's not too bad. We get some tungsten, we get some oil, mm -hmm, chromium. This is gone. Nice stuff, my friends. We really don't have a good in uh, industry, do we? No, oh, it's really bad. But this guy's learning a lot. I love it. Formation of Central America. Hey, thanks for reducing the lag. That's what I love to see in my mods. Ways for the AI to help themselves reduce lag. That is one of my favorite things to see. Can't, no, I can somewhat pierce us, but still. Still losing, huh? But the question is, are you learning? Are you learning, son? They are... Uh, they were attacking, so... Montgomery. Not bad. And... One percent. Ideologically centrist? Not for long. Not where we're going. Basic cruiser armor scheme? Very good. Very good. Uh, what is that? Armored cruiser, huh? What is an armored cruiser? Too advanced for me in my head. Something armored. The basis of classic Eurasianism. Yes, yeah, this one. Oh, we lose consumer goods. I don't do that one yet. Increase Eurasianist propaganda? Yeah! Promote Eurasianist ideology. The ideology brought to life by the triumvirate of Suvchinsky, Trubetsko, and Savitsky in the 20s has now many supporters in the Union, but Eurasianization is a long process. And some extra efforts from the government, of course, is quite needed. Our uh, finest hour, if you like to read about that, please, please, please go right ahead. What a childish fantasy. Oh, are you attacking down here? How dare you try to encircle us, you son of a rock sucker. I'm going to develop some more industry next to Do we not core this already? Hmm. Yeah, I guess I was waiting to see. Huh. Oh. As soon as they look, they start attacking again. What we love. Yeah, let's get some more industry next. Man, Russia's a really not great place right now. I want Montgomery. Should be able to win. Yeah, they do a four division. I guess they do a very superiority, which kind of sucks. But we're still doing relatively okay. And we have six research slots to help make up for it, so. Could be a lot worse. Bye, Hungry. I thought you already capitulated once, but you capitulated again. Very nice. And now we're losing as well. Ah, oh, crap. Do we at least have the. Oh, we do have the port. That's nice. Well, that sucks, John. The basis, the disagreements between the Eurasianists were always a stumbling block in the party line in unity and stability. Look, firstly, large disagreements between uh, Maxi, Chubetsko, and Gumilov had led to an obvious ideological conflict. Once supporters of the classic Eurasianism, the two politicians tried to adapt the ideology for their own purposes and needs. Such opposition was suppressed, much, and many of the Eurasianist pioneers believed that there should be no ideological diversity in the party, with staying as close to the initial course as possible. The others, mainly including Jacobson and Chekhezda, believe that some sort of leaning from the main party line is possible and can even be beneficial to the state and citizens. 
Oh, look at that. Be able to have some freedom in the party ideology. Wait, do we not have the port? No, we have the port. Why can't we just go... Hope we don't die here. Infrastructural improvements. A local governor in a certain place, the Paul by the poorest state of the roads in the region has, paid for the construction of the new ones built out of his own pocket. Over the past several weeks, laborers have put their shovels into the ground, helped to improve their, our infrastructure. The local papers may be praising his efforts, but it's ultimately the government and Nunsi Novgorod that reap the benefits of this act of generosity. Excellent. Yay. More civvies. Please, for the love of God, more civvies. Eh, we're doing okay. If we lose those three tank divisions, well, it's completely my fault, but whatever. Late and bang. You just... Go, please? Eh, yeah, you might actually be able to win here. We'll see. Seven days, not bad. Win, boys, win. Because, God, we need you to survive. Oh, that's not good. Are they really going to take out Austria? Okay, so this doesn't make any sense. How are you this strong? You're only fighting Slovenia and Illyria. Okay, the AI must be cheating or something here. Bosnia and Guerrilla issues. Fight for Illyria. Oh, a bunch of cheaters, I bet. Bunch of flipping cheaters down here. I'm sorry, man. Eth with ethnic clashes, you should not be able to win. You realistically should not be able to win against Austria and her puppets. Makes no sense. But, who am I? I'm just a guy on the internet. Just rambling. And my name is not Alex. Hey, we actually got it. Nice. Boris, that fun. All right, so where are we at? Centris still, forty-one. Miter sixty-four. Not bad. Uh. All right, nice. An investment debate. I'll get more industry as well next. Can you guys actually win here? That'd be cool if you could. Oh no, you won't. Keep on hanging out. Move if you have to. And then a new social class. A new social class, thanks to the Eurasianists and Russian cultures, emerge in intelligentsia, the ruling class. Inspired by the music of young Shostakovich and the masterpieces of Kandinsky, Shelley, the new nation, Kirill Romanov is dead. The recognized legitimate candidate to the Russian throne. Kirill Romanov has died today. His son Vladimir is now the main Romanov pretender to the throne. Farewell, Kirill Vladimirovich. Vladimirovich. Mitch, 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 Mitch. Sandwich. I swear, I am totally normal right now. With all of my pronunciations. Not a single thing is missing from my pronunciations. Um, yeah, get more civvies. Launch your agent's propaganda campaign. Thirteen Democrat, more, less political power. Well, Nancy Novgorod. We're going to need them civvies, son. Philippines, launch co prosperity sphere. Um, go like that. Why are you moving back that way? Bro, why are you... Go back. Brosif. New social class, a new Eurasian nation. No more shall we believe to liars who talk about European culture and origin. We are the Eurasianists, or Eurasians. The unique nation raised as a combination of both European and Asian cultures. We are special. Hmm. Lev. Kornilov. Led by our dude, VNS is Savitsky, of course, as well. Savitsky as well, and Savitsky as well. And then you have Savitsky and uh, some other people are uh, around here. Dmitry Sivakopolk Mereksi. A new Eurasian Union, of course. Or nation, really. Hey, you might be able to win there. Austria, how are you? Failing? 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 My goodness, this is just, just disgusting. Very disgusting, but you're learning. That's the most important thing to learn. Uh, moderate, ideologically centrist still. Uh, we're going to promote monarchism still. Because we need a little bit more than just moderate. We need significant. You can do this question of monarchy. Five days left. And elastic defense will be new and really good. Yeah, get that mobile infantry. 
That'll be good to get next. One day is left. Beautiful. Oh. Um, got some planes. Some more planes. We've got plenty of artillery for now. Not really enough. The buzzard should know that intelligence. Yeah. <clears throat> if in the beginning of the century, the 90% of the country populations were peasants, illiterate, and poor. The February Revolution in 1917 has brought the rights and power to the poorest classes, the Bolshevists and Nassau propaganda that perverted the minds of common people with fairy tales of Marx and Engels, has destroyed the legitimacy of socialism in the world that led to the final failure of the Bolshevist plot, our party of Eurasianists, has brought the new ideology into life. This ideology of free people, willing to become as educated as scientists, as rich as aristocrats, and to become proud bearers of the new nation. Let us throw off the shackles of the past. Let us listen to the intellectuals, to those who know how, who now represent, who now represent all the best a nation has. Let the politicians lead you to the brightness of the future. Let the new social class evolve. Every Russian should be along to the intelligentsia. Let us add modern Russian poetry. Listen to the flourishing Russian classical music. Bear in mind the covenants of the past. Learn the history of our nation as it is from the genesis of our Russian statehood. On the foundation of Mongol overlordship, let us prosper forever. Oh my goodness! Thinking like the intelligentsia. You get 50 political power, you get plus 0.25 more political power every single day. More stability and 20% more research speed. Oh, good father. Hello. More civvies, baby. More civvies. Uh, minorities. Eh, we already said we want to do minorities last time. But a new ideology. The previous identity of Russians has perished. Now we shall all be called Eurasians. Yes. Let's do Ural. Zemsta. Let's see what happens. The investment debate. Uh, the ability to help fund the uh, Zemsta institutions is a double-edged sword. As it stands, the Zemsta only invests money they gain from local taxes, and if something happens, the government in Nancy Novgorod can always pin the blame on the local governor and have them replaced. Without mentioning the advantages inherent in such a localized form of management. On the other hand, this does limit the scope of what they can achieve. The moment we step in, however, the government in Nancy Novgorod has, will be held responsible for anything that f it fails. For this reason, there are some recommend, recommending cautious, if any, investments on our part. While some said they need to not get involved in every minor issue in every Siberian hamlet, the more market-oriented ministers cite that Zemsta has largely been doing just fine without her direct intervention and that the state should allow the lo local governance to function as, of course, intended. <clears throat> Other ministers, however, prefer a more direct approach by the government and insist that we can't ha let a handful of irresponsible career politicians blind us to the potential benefits we could reap by providing state funding to the Zemsa. Keep it small. Increase funding. Make a large investment. Bureaucratic matters. Development. Um, stability would be nice, but you get. I want political power, but we'll see what happens. I, I like industry. Like, just really, just lots and lots of industry. Because that's what we could really, really flip the news. And then a new identity, of course. Keep building, keep building, keep building, 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 building. Eh, seems okay for now. Oh, wait, hold on. Doesn't that guarantee by the United... Oh. Well, I guess you're gone. Beautiful. Well, there goes everybody in Central Africa. Or just Africa in general. Hey, Armenians, look at that. Ah, Africa. Never looked better. Everyone is killing each other in America, which, you know, don't get me wrong, that must be a lot of fun, but at the same time, it's kind of crazy. You might be able to win, maybe. We'll see. If they win or die, you know, it is what it is. Cairo Pact. Mau Mau, a master of the motherland. A harmless yet useful ceremony. Yay! Um, except more influence. Acceptance of ideology. Daily change. Uh, I'll do that one, why not? We'll do both, why not? I need your rage nation. A new identity. Still trying to push. Which is great for the army XP and a little bit of air XP as well. Who are we? Up to a quite recent time, the majority of Russian citizens never knew what Eurasianism is. The political programs of Eurasianists that promised anti German, anti syndicalist foreign policy prosperity to all the social classes. The increased role of the Orthodox Church has not brought any clarity to the minds of common citizens. They knew that, they just knew that the Eurasianists offered something new and something that will make the state of Russia protected and strong. 
Neither had they the time or ability to read long and obtruse articles and books of Trubetskoy, Savetsky, and Venatsky. While seeming too esoteric and mock scientific for the ones, the ideas of Eurasianists are all the same, seem reasonable and gifted them with an almost tangible sense of unity with this history. While the Eurasianist program of enlightenment is already full scale, many of the citizens and children uh, at school being taught the origins of Eurasianism, everything is becoming more and more clear. The process of nation building has begun, the process of Eurasianization of the whole Russian population, yet the Idiocracy works. The greatest experiment we have ever witnessed and will tell. A new nation shall evolve in the power of the orthodoxy. Moscow the third Rome, as the history books say. We are a leading orthodox nation in the world. Our patriarch is being listened from Habin and Alaska, Dysphoria, to our brethren in Siberia. But unfortunately, that is all the time that I have for today, my friends. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow as we will venture and see if the world will fall apart into another global conflict. Thanks for watching. Franz Joseph II is leading Alaska, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great, great rest of your day.